think there are a couple of benefits to recording some white noise or room noise. When we are recording audio, when we're listening to audio especially, our ears are really good at picking up changes and inconsistencies. So it's really important that if you are doing any supplemental audio recording to like add on to a mix, that you're not doing it in a way that's distracting for somebody. However, that said, there's a lot of benefit to recording white noise or room noise, especially when you are editing something. Would it be beneficial to have like a backing track of white noise that the whole interview, if it were an interview, would be sort of a bed of greens, if you will, and then you'd put the rest of your audio over it. I think that you could certainly do that. You would just want to make sure that if you're using it as a mask, what are you trying to mask out? Is it distracting? It'd be more distracting than say low level street noise in the background. You can listen to like This American Life, they'll do interviews and you can hear that the people are on the street. Once you understand that that's what's going on, you kind of disregard your brain. is like, okay, that background noise is not important. Uh, when you're doing any kind of recording, before you start with your interview, you just get a couple of minutes of the ambient room noise. Then you have that put in place of, you know, someone swears or coughs or says, um, or uh. It gives you something to be fill material that will match the room noise. While you're doing a recording, kind of think about what is being recorded. And if you see one of those moments where it'd be better to take it again, just do it. You have the opportunity there. You might not have it again later.